The MCAT exam is changing, but why? Well, medicine and science are constantly evolving, and so are the populations who need physician care and hope for medical research breakthroughs. The people who will make great doctors can do more than just memorize scientific facts and formulas. They can use their knowledge to solve complex problems, deliver better patient care, and develop new treatments and cures. So we're making the MCAT exam a better test for tomorrow's doctors. The new exam will be made up of four sections. The sections will test competency in the natural, social, and behavioral sciences, in solving scientific problems, and in critical analysis and reasoning. And a new exam means a new score scale. Scores on each section will range from 118 to 132. Your section scores will total your overall MCAT exam score, which will range from 472 to 528. So how will you know what these new scores mean? Well, the best source of information about your scores will come from percentile ranks, which show how your scores stack up against others. These percentile ranks will help you decide if you are happy with your scores or want to retake the exam. A section score of 125 will be at the 50th percentile, meaning that about half of test takers obtain a score of 125 or less. A total score of 500 means the same thing. About half of the test takers obtain a score of 500 or less. You'll also see confidence bands that remind admissions officers not to overinterpret small differences in applicants' test scores. Finally, your score report will include an overall score profile, so you can see your relative strengths and weaknesses. To help you get ready for the new MCAT exam, visit aamc.org slash MCAT2015 to find extensive info on the new content, new scores, and new score reports, along with additional preparation resources. Visit us today and be ready tomorrow.